This is either gonna be the best or the worst thing I've ever created in my life. Well, what's up guys? We've got Chef Jaren in the building making a cooking video today. It's something I've never done on the channel. What are we making? We're making anabolic burrito bowls or taco bowls, whatever you wanna call it. But basically in front of me, you got all the ingredients you're gonna need. We've got some olive oil, some meat, we've got corn, we've got lettuce, we've got taco seasoning for the meat. We've got a mix of some beans for extra protein. Of course, wouldn't be a taco bowl without some tortilla chips and of course, cheese as well. Um, yeah, look, I've never made anything like this before. I've got no idea how I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna wing it, so this is gonna be great. Now, the intention for this meal is to be a bulking meal, despite the fact I have no idea what the macros or the calories are gonna be, but I'm gonna obviously show that at the end anyway, and then we'll decide. Uh, whether it's worth it or not. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's put some of this stuff to the side. I reckon the easiest thing to do first is gonna be the beef and the corn, because those are gonna take the longest to prepare. That gets thrown in at the end. The lettuce does, the cheese can get grated at the end. And I'm assuming we don't need to do anything to this. So let's get started. Third time's a charm. Found the matching lid. So first things first, we're gonna get this corn going. Now this is a 500 gram bag. Are we gonna use all the corn? You know what, I'm gonna be a nice guy. I'm gonna use 400 grams of corn and I'm gonna donate the rest to the, my family because we don't wanna be too healthy on this channel, you know? Also, we're gonna be aiming to make all these meals in lots of four. 400 grams is a lot more corn than what I thought. Sweet, so we wait for that to boil. And in the meantime, let's get this meat going. Guys, today's special guest is Chef Piggy. Piggy, how do you make this? Right, that's enough input. All right, I've got to wash my hands again, of course. All righty, next minute, I'm gonna use a little bit of olive oil, get things nice and oiled up. I think this is gonna be the easiest bit of all. So we're gonna spread that oil across the pan. Flick that on, I'm gonna let that heat up. And we're just gonna go straight for the kill. Let's get that bad boy in there. We're gonna break this up as well. I'm using a full kilo of beef mince here as well. Uh, like I said before, I've got no idea what the portions are gonna be like, but we're just gonna wing it and hope for the best. So this is apparently like five star mince as well. Didn't actually specify on the packet, but I got a little birdie on the inside telling me how they do the meat, so. We're just gonna stand here and look like an idiot, beat our meat till it's ready. I'm sure someone is watching this right now and absolutely cringing, just wanting to take over. Alrighty, so there we have it. That's where you want your meat. Uh, just kidding, guys. Calm down, don't freak out. Not gonna lie, I really should find a better way of doing this. I am just butchering this right now. No pun intended. Alrighty, so the water behind us is nearly boiled. So that'll nearly be ready to be chucked in. We're gonna keep dicing up this meat. And whilst I'm waiting for this meat to get chopped really fine, let me think of some exciting news that I can tell you guys. Oh cool, I thought of something. So in case you guys didn't know, face-to-face -face personal training is now open. So if you guys are on the sunny coast area, I'm now available for face-to-face. -face. Let's work together, let's cook together. Let's get you eating some burrito taco bowls and still losing weight or packing on muscle. Whichever one, I'll leave the links in the description, of course. We're gonna have to get that taco seasoning uh, ready pretty soon as well, as it looks like our meat's cooking pretty bloody quick. I keep calling it meat, but I guess I should just call it beef to sound less sus. Oh, we've got the water going absolutely ham behind us. I've got to try not to burn down the kitchen today. All right, so it looks like the water is pretty much ready. We're gonna turn that down a bit. We're gonna add the corn in. Definitely should have had more water in there, but it's fine. Um, and I believe on the packet, it said to leave it for only one minute. So uh, I guess we'll come back in a minute. And back to the meat here, of course, you guys can see that it is absolutely steaming away. We're gonna go ahead and set a timer on that corn. We're gonna set it for two minutes instead of one because rules are only made to be broken. Alrighty, this is looking a lot better than what it was before, okay? We've actually got some ground beef action happening right now. I know you guys probably thought I was crazy trying to use a spatula to do it, but we made it there in the end, didn't we? 
really just goes to show you guys, if you can ground beef with a spatula, you can do anything in life. Motivational quote of 2020-23. All right, as you guys can see, we've literally just got a pan full of a full kilo of ground beef. <sighs> I can smell the trembolone reeking from these cows. I'm just straight waffling now, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know whose idea this video was. All right, it's been two minutes on the corn, so I've just turned that pan off. And we're gonna let that corn sit there for a tad little bit. Uh, as in regards to how this meal is actually gonna keep being meal prepped, I'm not really sure. I think I'm gonna keep the ingredients separate and then just chuck them all in the fridge and throw them together when I need to. That would seem like the best option, so that's what we're gonna do. Also, if you guys are using a kilo of beef, I recommend you get two packets of taco seasoning because on the packet, it says to use one packet for a saucepan of 500 grams of mint. Um, look, I thought I grabbed two packets, but I might have to give a visit to the early onset dementia clinic because well, I've only got one. Alrighty guys, we are now going to drain this corn. Now let's get back to this mince. So we need it in three quarter cups of water. Gonna fill this bitch with water. We're gonna add our taco seasoning in. Why do I feel a sudden urge to take a shot? Zero out of 10, don't recommend. Anyway, we're gonna pour this shubizzle in. <laughs> oh, I don't have many regrets, but that was one. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do what we do. My brain's fried. We're gonna go ahead and do what we do best. We're gonna stir shit up. It's starting to come along now. Start to smell pretty good. Starting to smell like an actual taco and not just like shit. And now the corn's drained. We're gonna turn the heat up on the pan real quick. We're gonna make sure that this beef cooks all the way through. And I thought it was quite fitting. This has to be the bowl that we use. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the corn chips now. We're gonna put 57 and a half grams in each meal. I feel like I'm gonna try layer this burrito bowl, so I might grab a handful now. Just chuck her in there, crush her all up. Well, I feel like beef would be the only logical next step, wouldn't it? Okay, that looks that looks disgusting. I should have drained it more. So let's get some beans in here. This is the deadly concoction, as you guys can see. Are you meant to cook these? No, I don't know. No, it should be fine. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add 100 grams of corn. I've made the executive decision. We're gonna go for 75 grams because 100 grams is just a fair amount. But we're gonna go and we're gonna put a generous amount in because we're trying to bulk here. All right, guys, 200 grams. So there's 200 grams of the beef. <sighs> what are we missing now? Let's go ahead and add some lettuce in. So we're gonna add 25 grams of lettuce. So we go, that's 25 grams of lettuce. That's a surprising amount. That's honestly more than I thought. It says one serving on here is 50 grams, but honestly, if you're eating 50 grams of lettuce, I think you're actually a rabbit, you're not a human. So that's gonna be fine the way it is. Um, now we did mention layering before, so we are going to layer on some more beans and we're gonna stop when we reach 30 grams. So there we have it, 70 grams of beans. Let's get the rest of these chips in here. I've left these ones as bigger chunks. We're gonna add that all on top. Last but not least, we just have to grate some cheese. All right, let's stop there. I think 20 grams of cheese is plenty. We got 22 grams of cheese. 24, 24 grams of cheese. So guys, this is the first taco bowl. This is what we're working with here. I'm not gonna lie, presentation is not the strong point, but we're gonna give it all a mix and we're gonna taste test it. Alrighty guys, I'm not gonna lie, I am absolutely petrified. I've either created the best dish I've ever had or I've made the biggest mistake and I'm never gonna eat this shit again and I've wasted my money. Only time will tell. Yay for power tools. You guys will probably hear a blower in the background, but that's all good. We're gonna get stuck into this first bite of our burrito bowl. We're gonna try and mix it all around as well. Get a whole mix of flavors in there. You know what? It's honestly not that bad. 
I'm pretty happy with this overall though. I could eat this for the next six months. I had my concerns about the beans, but it actually ends up being all right and it's not too dry because it's uh, the mince is actually quite moist. And I think the corn helped as well. Um, honestly, if you can get everything on, you know, one, one mouthful, this is pretty good. I think a little bit more flavoring would top it off. Maybe a little bit more cheese or something like a bit of salsa sauce, but this is pretty good. I mean, I mean, you guys saw how easily I whipped that up. And if I can do it, any of you guys can do it. So final thoughts, I'll put up the total price on the screen now. And I'll also put up the total macros for each meal. All in all, flavor wise, I'm gonna rate this meal like a solid seven out of 10, uh, especially compared to my other meals that I usually have, which is just chicken and rice. So this is pretty good. If you guys are bulking, I highly recommend it. But yeah, that's gonna pretty much wrap up this video, guys. If you wanna see more cooking videos, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know if you want me to make something next. This was a hit. I'm super proud of myself today making this burrito bowl, making this burrito bowl off the dome. So uh, yeah, that's it for this one. I'll see you in the next.